So I'm just about to go on my lunch break, which is why I've had a little wonder. So I thought I'd bring you along and see what I get for lunch. There's like a little food hall here. Very, very busy. I mean, it is a couple of weekends before Christmas, so I don't know what I expected. So it might have to be summer, which has got the shortest queue. But I guess, come along with me and let's see what I get to eat. And then from when I finish work, which is in a couple of hours, I'm actually going to be going over to an area called Embankment, where I'm meeting up with my younger brother, Tom, and we're going to have a little explore. It is Sunday, so I'm not actually sure how long things or how late things will be open. Um, but we're definitely going to grab some food, some dinner. And then tomorrow I'm also in London. I'm going to be working in the London office, but I'm sure I'll be getting up to some bits and bobs, which I can show you around. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? So I just met up with my brother, we met up in the embankment and we just walked through, um, I don't even know where we just walked through, we just walked through like, across London and we've ended up at Carnaby Street and we've come to a place called Kazandaya Ramen Bar which my brother has recommended, I love ramen, so we are currently stood outside in the queue though because it's so busy but apparently this place always has a queue and it goes quite quickly so fingers crossed I'm not sure if you can tell but it is definitely snowing in the background um, it's freezing but it feels very festive and very Christmas Eve because it is snowing so yeah I hope we get inside very quickly because I am freezing I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree and I've lit my house with Christmas lights so you should come back home to me we finally made it into the pub. Like, you know, this is Tom Smith. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably not best to leave. He's got to be in the first. No, no, no. Okay. This is not awesome. really. So, just let me say hi, and I'm going to catch up with you when we get back to my hotel. Or when I get back to my hotel. back I look ridiculous this hat can you see it's actually wet and that's from the snow I'm still freezing though I've had to take my coat off because it's soaking wet but the hat I know it looks silly but it's staying on for the time being but I've just checked into the hotel I am staying at the Yotel I think it's the Yotel London City and um, we've never stayed in a Yotel before work have booked this for me um, and I thought I'd give you a little room tour because it's literally like it's like a spaceship and I need to explore and I thought I'll explore with you guys. So, three, two, one for probably the smallest, quickest room tour in the world. But, so obviously you come in here and then here is just basically where you can hang your coat and things. And I think this is one of these hotels which is a bit like the Premier Inn Hubs, which I have stayed in before. But it's where like everything is, um, well I'll just show you. So basically your sink is as soon as you walk in. So that's where I was just there. 
And you come in, and to be fair, got a lovely long mirror. Hi. Um, and then here, I love the mood lighting. It's purple. I wonder if I can change it. So you've got the TV. And then, sorry. Um, did someone say Christmas? How festive, in fact, how pretty is that? I actually can't. Wow. That's so pretty. And then, okay, so you come here. You've got another massive my little head poking out, I'm so small. A massive mirror here. And then the bed. Okay, the bed, I'm confused at. I walked in and I was like, why is it so small? Because obviously, it doesn't look that small in here. But, basically, half of it is like, it's like sat up here. Excuse me, is there, is there a remote? Like, I can't sleep like that. That's basically like sat up. Let's have a look. Oh, wait. What is this? No, that, oh, <gasps> moving. It's going to actually see that. <gasps> this is genius. I actually want this in my room. Are you joking? In fact, I'm gonna leave it there because I'm gonna watch some TV. Okay, so that is, wow. Okay, so that's that. And what else do we have in here? Remote, is this gonna do the mood lighting? So, what we on that one purple? <gasps> oh, give have a party. <gasps> should we party tonight? Just me and you. Just me and you guys. What colour should we do? I actually quite like the purple. Oh, oh, hot pink's quite nice. <laughs> just me and <laughs> just me and the mirror like. <laughs> um okay. Ooh, loving that. And then this, okay, this I found hilarious. So I was like, okay, cool, wardrobe, do I have a robe? Um, no. <laughs> Is a short answer. How do I open it? Oh, it's quite hard to open. So in here, is this like a singular toilet, which is unusual, but I'm here for it. Saving space, I guess. And then in here, oh wow. So you literally just walk straight into the shower. I mean, it's quite a big shower, all things considering. And then, I mean, what are these? Urban jungle. That's cool. I quite like the packaging on that. Um, I kind of love it. It's different, but I'm here for it. And like, I mean, I've got a lot of space for activities and I'm round the corner from where I need to be tomorrow, which is why I asked for this hotel to be booked. Um, sorry, that's snow outside. I actually just, I can't. I can't. Should we do a bed test? In fact, I'm going to put you up here. We'll do a bed test together. Sure about that. That was a bit hard. Mm. Oh, the pillows are soft. I've made my knees up. I've got my shoes on. I don't want to get them. Okay, I can get on board with this. Oh, amazing! And then I've got snacks because everyone needs a snack, especially if you're having a sleepover. And we're having a sleepover tonight, so I've got some strawberry fizzy. Fizzy strawberry straws, and then I've got some high root soup mix, which is not usually my first choice, but I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna have a hat hair. I don't know, but that is soaking wet. Where can I put it? Everything is soaking wet because the snow is now melting on all my belongings. Um, maybe I'll hang, hang you like this. Um, yeah, sorry, I like tan plastics, but they didn't have any tan plastics in the Sainsbury's, which was where I went, so cool. And then I really wanted a cup of tea and I do think that is the one thing I don't have. I don't have a kettle. Do I? Oh, oh. wait a second, oh my goodness. Okay, I'll take it back. I think I found the kettle, be right back. I think I'm sad again. This is not a kettle, it's a hairdryer, which to be fair, I do probably need to use because this is not okay. Um, but no cup of tea for Annabelle. I mean, part of me thinks, is it hidden in some sort of like compartment or contraction or, I don't know, maybe I should Google like what comes with the room. But, oh, I'm actually pretty happy. Anyway, I'll fill you in with, oh, this lighting is maybe not so great um, for this camera. Let me take my shoes off. Let's get cozy. Come on, we're all friends here. So, oh, okay. Shoes and socks are coming up, apparently. 
So, okay, this bed I quite like. It's quite comfy. I probably need to move it down a little bit. Maybe I'll move it up because I'm speaking to you. Come on. Be polite. I won't be laid down speaking to you. Although, it's not liking this light. Where's my, where's my colour remote? How can I have lost it already? I've been here two seconds. Are you joking? Um, honestly? Honestly, where has it gone? Okay, well, we'll deal with this. So, um, obviously I travelled out really early this morning. I was up at like half six, which is not going to be early for some, but um, on a Sunday, that is early for me. And yeah, the train journey actually was fine, um, considering, well, there's going to be loads of train strikes, and I guess if it's snowing and if it settles, which it is at the moment, I might even take you outside in a little bit and just show you how much it settled, because when we were in Central, there were so many people that actually um, it wasn't settling that much, I didn't think it was that bad, but I've come to Farringdon, and there's not as many people, and it feels very, very much like I've just stepped into a Christmas film. So, anyway, so I was working today, which obviously I didn't show you because I was working, I was busy, um, and then I went and met up with my brother, so Tom, I did take a really small clip, but he's, he, he, he didn't sign up to be part of the vlog, um, and it was literally like a two second like, hi, so I might put it in, might not, but anyway, that was who I was with. And, sorry, I really just can't deal with this hair because <laughs> I didn't have my hat on for the longest time. And, obviously, the snow has made it gone really frizzy. And I'm not sure this lighting. I can't tell whether it keeps going in and out of focus on my camera. But I don't know whether... We're back. I found the remote. And we're back on purple. So, it's probably still not great. Um. Anyway, where was I with the story? So, I finished work. To be fair... I thought I knew the tubes inside out. I mean, I used to live, like, I grew up coming into London and things, and there was me like, oh yeah, I know the way. I don't need to Google. I don't need to look at a map. Yeah, I got on the wrong tube. So that was fun. It was like a, a panic, because luckily I actually did have enough time um, to not be late, but I had just had to do like a little detour, because I, I'd gone in the right direction, but I could have got a direct train, and instead I had to like, have a little bit of a walk and get on another tube so it wasn't ideal but we did it and we made it on time and then on the way back i came out of a different entrance well exit i went in one entrance and i came out a different exit which then took me to a different tube station which i wasn't expecting so my pre-arranged route which i'd planned um just wasn't going to happen and the thought of having to walk back through westfields I just wasn't prepared to do it, so I rerouted, and it was a similar sort of journey over to Embankment. Met met Tom there, and then we we had a few ideas of where we might want to eat, but we hadn't booked. But we were like, it's Sunday, surely it's not going to be that. Well, that was my thought process. Apparently, my brother was like, yeah, we, I knew it was going to be busy, but in Leeds at like seven eight o'clock, it's like a ghost town. Honestly, it was like a Saturday night. It was so rams everywhere. Um, people were queuing outside um, So we went to this place, I can't remember what it was called But it was ramen And if anyone knows me, they know that I love ramen So the fact that my brother was like, do you like ramen? I was like, yes So the first, basically there was a chain, there's a couple of them The first one had a huge queue And he was like, right I know another one Down near um, Carnaby Street So we sort of hopped I don't even know, we were like, at one minute we're in Piccadilly, next thing we're in Soho, next thing we're at Carnaby Street. He was just taking us down like some mad side routes. Um, we found it and there was a small queue, but I think like 10 minutes and we got in. So I had a really nice spicy, I think it was a spicy pork broth chicken, I don't really know. I think it, I think it's a chicken broth but pork. Um, which confuses my brain, but honestly it was really good and my brother said that's the dish which he has every time he goes He's not had anything else and he swears by it. So I was like, right So we both had that and we had like a starter to share of like some uh, Korean fried chicken, which is I mean fried chicken is a win-win And um, so did that and then we literally walked around the houses trying to find anywhere with any vacancy We just wanted to have a glass of wine and have a catch-up um, and nowhere, well we were looking for a wine bar specifically, so there were places we probably could have gone into but we were specifically looking for a wine bar because we both love wine 
and um, we saw it when in London, well he lives in London but when I'm in London let's like go somewhere like a little bit nicer. Anyway, everywhere was booked, couldn't get in anywhere and bear in mind the snow at this point was like chucking it down, like it was getting heavier and we were both soaking and we were like oh my goodness it's freezing, all we now want, we don't care where we go anymore, like we tried everywhere and eventually one of the places where actually we actually stopped before and we took like some Instagram videos of the snow. I was like, why don't we just try in there? And lo and behold, they had one seat available, well, one very, very tiny table available. So we sat in there, had a glass of wine, and then it was getting a little bit late, and obviously he had to get back. Um, both have work tomorrow. So yeah, so now back at the hotel with my snacks. And yeah, that was kind of today's little adventure. And yeah, I just, I feel so festive, like, I feel like I didn't feel that festive on the lead up to here. I've done like some festive things, like I've had my Christmas work party, um, like decorations are up, um, like where I live, like in the communal areas of where I live anyway, like the office is decorated, but I don't know, like I was feeling festive, but coming to London, I think it really, like the decorations were so much better than Manchester. I was in Manchester um, like last week and they were okay, but they're 10 times better in London. And then it's obviously snowing, and it's still snowing. I honestly think we're going to wake up tomorrow, and it's going to be like a white Christmas. <laughs> I actually can't. I actually cannot. Um, although, how am I going to get home? <laughs> because sh only, like, if it snows in the UK, even if it's a bit windy in the UK, the trains go all like crazy. Snow? We're not used to snow. Any... Any, like, unless it's just normal, average weather, the UK doesn't count, like, doesn't cope at all. So we'll see, we'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So, yeah, other than the cup of tea, which I can't have, um, I mean, I guess I could go downstairs and see if the bar has one, but I mean, is that a little bit extra? I don't need a cup of tea. But anyway, I've been speaking for like five minutes, so... I hope you enjoy that little catch up. I am probably going to, in fact, I'm going to take you outside whilst I'm still dressed and everything. I'm going to take you outside, show you the snow, and then we'll go from there. So, this is it outside, and I mean, it's definitely settling. I feel like it's melted a little bit. I did stay inside and lay on the bed for a little bit longer than anticipated watching TikTok. However, yeah, how cute. It's definitely settling. I'm not imagining it. it this is snow. See my little footsteps? Okay, it's freezing. I'm going back into the hotel. Oh yeah, so this is it, if anyone hasn't seen a Yotel before. You see the, the logo there? A Yotel. The little Christmas tree. And then here is like the bar area, which I'm not going to because I'm by myself. I've been outside for about 0.5 seconds and I'm freezing, so Let's work how to use this together. So, heat. Let's get, I mean, is that as high as it goes? Is it on? Ah, that could help. Just got into bed. My hair is chaos. Just let's, let's just ignore the hair. Whack the heating on as hot as it will go, which is 26, but at least it's on now. It was off when I first arrived, so no wonder it was freezing in here. The bed is still very much upright, so I actually do need to lower myself down <laughs> can you hear that <laughs> keep going keep going um yeah I'll, I'll put it down the rest in a second when i'm actually going to bed um shower should we rate the shower the shower itself was fine the water pressure was great however it was very weird being in like a box i feel like there wasn't really much room to move so i actually ended up having oh my goodness i actually can't <laughs> take myself seriously having the door open which then caused a mini tidal wave flood um but that's also because i didn't realize that we had um like a towel you could put down so that's now down and um normality has resumed in well i was gonna say the bathroom in the bedroom because the bathroom is in the bedroom, essentially. Um, and then I couldn't find the towels. I couldn't find the hand towels. And I mean, I know I'm small, but drying your whole body with a hand towel, where are the normal-sized towels? Like, I can only assume they're hidden 
in some secret compartments because everything in here seems to be a bit hidden. I actually found another cupboard which I don't want to open as I don't want to get out of bed because I'm so cold but that. I need to remember to open that tomorrow to see what's in it. Um, but yeah, it's just, I think it's about 11pm now. So I think it's time for me to start my Christmas film. I'm going to watch, I think, Christmas Chronicles 2 because I watched Christmas Chronicles 1 the other day. And yeah, I've got breakfast in the morning. So thank you to the person who booked the hotel for me because that's such a lovely gesture and it was so unexpected. And I'm, I mean, who does not like a hotel buffet breakfast? I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, so I'm all ready to, I'm all excited and ready to wake up. I did end up shutting the blinds so I can't see the snow anymore but I realised there was like buildings directly opposite me and um, I didn't know if anyone was in them so I thought let's not give you a private show um, so they're shut but actually saying that with the lights on I can still see the snow and it just made me so happy um, so yeah I guess for this evening it's over and out and I'll catch you in the morning Yeah, spend my time 